Well, our organization is dedicated to the preservation of Lake Sturgeon within the, the Huron Erie Corridor. Uh, we do that in several ways. We do that by uh, working with fisheries agencies. Um, we do that by promoting ethical and sustainable fishing. And we do that through public outreach and education. Well, it's a unique fishery that we have in southeast Michigan. It's actually one of the healthiest populations in the lakes, and it's a very underutilized or not a well-known fishery here, even the fish are here, because you don't actually see them ever, very rarely anyway. One of the questions I get all of the time is, is why is sturgeon preservation important? When we manage for lake sturgeon, okay, everything else will be healthy, including humans. This fish has been around, on fossil records anyway, all, over 100 million years. So it, it's, it has a very long life and it is an indicator of the health as a system as a whole. If lake sturgeon don't survive, it's an indication that there's a problem with the system and it's probably not healthy for us either. I think most conservation organizations are started by sportsmen. And St. Clair Detroit River Sturgeon for Tomorrow is, is one of those cases. There are actually three spawning reefs in the river now that are put in with cooperation with the U.S. Fish and Wildlife and grants from that. And they're uh, spread out throughout the river. They try to pick places that are not subject to erosion or silting. And um, they're using different rock aggregate and they're placing those down on the riverbed. And they actually found the sturgeon were using them while they were still building them. Well, the man-made reefs, interestingly enough, they're rock reefs. They're made of, of um substrate, probably eight inch diameter rock. There's several acres in size, about three feet high on the bottom. And the sturgeon will lay eggs in the cracks and crevices between the rocks. Those eggs will hatch uh, several days later. Then they'll drift downstream to an area where they will spend their first year. But the other thing is too, that the St. Clair River is an EPA area of concern. And these reef projects are part of a uh, effort of habitat improvement, not only for the sturgeon, but there's about 14 different species of fish that will actually spawn on these reefs as well. Remember I mentioned managing for sturgeon, everything else will be healthy? Well, that's one prime example of that. So, uh, so there's a lot of additional benefit to other species as well. The St. Clair River system as a whole still has some very active spawning grounds that have not been uh, destroyed by dredging, uh, and there's actually now out here, there's actually reefs being put in. And uh, so this is a healthy fishery because of that. We were probably the cause of the fish declining in the first place. There's no doubt about it. Uh, overfishing, uh, destruction of habitat. The here on Erie Corridor, for instance, the habitat destruction happened, you know, over decades. Uh, the shipping industry were uh, come in where channels were dredged uh, for the ships to come through. We're really kind of putting back what we took away in the first place. You know, the thing is, when you're using a resource, um, you want to give back to that resource. You want to protect it. You want your kids and your grandkids to have that same enjoyment. So you're going to try to do something to make sure that, that you leave something behind that's going to benefit people into the future and they're going to have the same opportunity that you are.